It's in a stalker here for a video. This video will be my DVD Blu-ray update video right over here at these awesome releases by Arrow Video USA. Pretty much, these will all be pretty much Arrow Video USA release coming out this week and I believe next Tuesday. And also a really cool anthology series of my buddy Wet Movie 1. I'm going to talk about that too. But let's get down to it and talk about these over here. Oh yes. Let's get down to it. <laughs> Ooh. All right, first look I'm gonna talk about is this one right here, Microwave Massacre. Nice film, and I always liked this movie. It gets kind of a bad rap for being one of the most worst movies of all time, but I like it. I even got the original DVD of this thing I bought a couple of years ago. Fun, fun stuff. But let's get into this edition of it right over here. The Blu-ray release of it looks awesome and nice and crisp on Blu-ray, as everybody always does. Great, fun movie. Stars Jackie Vernon, and Jackie Vernon I'm sure you guys all seen Frosty the Snowman, the old classic Christmas cartoon. The voice of Frosty the Snowman is this guy, Jackie Vernon. This is my imitation voice of him. Happy birthday, it's me, Frosty the Snowman. That's my crappy imitation voice of Frosty the Snowman. But anyway, you get the idea. He plays this crazy middle-aged guy in this movie. Um, so it's kind of funny, but I thought the movie to hear him just talk about random raunchy kind of strange stuff I always think of Frosty the Snowman that's what adds to it it's just, it's just really weird but anyway it takes place Jackie's character his name's Donald he's married to his wife he's a construction worker his life ain't going too well he's kind of fed up with what his wife's cooking his wife just got this gigantic awesome microwave set it does everything it's like this huge deluxe a super deluxe edition of it 19 late 70s early 80s style and um, he's sick of all the food that she's uh, making him like it's like she should, she makes some like weird foods like pates, gigantic crab sandwiches with the with the whole crab and shell and all like weird stuff. All he wants is a simple bologna and cheese sandwich. That's all he wants and a burger and a beer. But she doesn't want to do that. So one day he's having dinner with the wife. He's sick of the food. He's just cracks up. He's like, no, what? Screw this food. He because the wife always nags on him and stuff like that. So he just kills the wife, dismembers the body, wraps her up in aluminum foil, throws her in the fridge in the garage where they have like other food in there and stuff like that. Just kind of just puts her in there to dispose of the body. Later on that night, he's hungry for a midnight snack. He just grabs uh, any kind of package randomly out of the fridge. He goes to eat it. He likes the way the meat tastes. This is some damn good meat. He thought his wife maybe bought some roast beef or something like that and never gave it to him. But when you look down below, unwrap the aluminum foil, he's like, holy crap, I'm eating my wife's arm or, you know, something or hand. It's like, holy crap, so he kind of likes the taste of the meat, so he becomes a cannibal and eats her body. Now the rest of the movie, he has to get to, has to feed his need, yet he goes around killing and disposing beautiful women. And his co-workers at work want like his food too, so it's like a weird, pretty much weird movie of him doing all these weird things and stuff like that. That's a pretty funny, weird ending to it. Wacky movie, low budgetly done. It's only like a 78 minute movie. It's really, really cool. I mean, I enjoy it. If you like low budget movies, you'll definitely get a kick out of this one right here. It's one of the best low budget ones, I think. And the whole movie is funny because it's like one gigantic pun and one liners. The way they talk and the dialogue in the movie, it's all kinds of like random jokes, little weird one liners and stuff like that, all kinds of puns. It's really strange, but it's cool. Let me show you the inside of it real quick. Here's the inside. You get this great little booklet here, as Arrow Video always does. Nice little write up of the movie itself and things like that really really cool fun stuff get the dvd blu-ray what i like too is you get the old school you know cover art which i do like a lot to be like this is like my midnight video releases back in the day on videotape and that was a still is pretty much a sought after videotape i love that cover art very very cool probably switching up to that here's all the extras you have you have a nice little interview with the uh, director and one of the cast members of the movie the reflections of the movie and how it was made and their, their time making it and stuff. So yeah, that's Microwave Massacre. Pretty damn good one. Now off to the next one. All right, next up here is this movie, Duccio Tazzari's Bloodstained Butterfly. Giallo movie, early 70s style, of course, you know. Uh, to me, a lesser known Giallo. I never heard of this movie before. My first time watching this one, actually pretty damn good. Nice, cool Giallo. A little different than the other Giallos that I've seen before is this one. The story takes place one night young woman out you know out for a stroll stormy night you know she, she's going around and she gets brutally murdered in a park and there's a couple of eyewitnesses see a suspected murderer of the scene fleeing the scene it's a tv personality in town some of the witnesses think that he did it so they take him into court 
tried him for murder. He denies that he killed her. And while the accused assailant is in jail and being tried, another murder happens while he's in custody. So it's apparent it was the murderers out in the loose. Might not be him. So it might be another killer out there. And that's like the little nice little mystery of the whole movie right here. Pretty damn cool movie. Nicely shot. Like I said, it's kind of a lesser known giallo. I never heard of it before. Maybe you guys have. My very first time checking this one out. Let me show you the inside of it real quick. Then plus the original artwork, which I think is a lot cooler than this one. Let me show you. Well, here's like the booklet in here, as our video does. Nice little write up and a little story of the history of giallos. And then this and about the write up of this movie right here. Of course, you got the DVD, the Blu ray behind the Blu ray. You got the original artwork, which I really do like the original artwork. That is really cool. I will be switching the covers around and putting this one in front. But yeah, pretty damn good Giallo, especially um, the lesser known one, which I think it is. And if you like Giallos, this is a definitely one worth picking up. A little bit different than your normal Giallo is this one right here. Little Bloodstained Butterfly. All right, next up right here is this. The Female Scorpion box set. Check that out. This is fantastic. I mean, I, I was so excited to get this. And I always seen the very first movie, which is you know, the 701's Female Scorpion Prisoner movie. They yeah, got all four of movies in this thing. I've never seen the other three before. It was great checking those ones out for the very first time. Here's the name of the movies right over here in the spine of this awesome box. This thing is fantastic. Oh, man. We just dive right in. All right, this stars the awesome Miyoko Kaji. Miyoko, Miyoko Kaji. I, mean, I probably messed up her name, but yeah, sorry to her. She was Lady Snowblood, also in Stray Cat Rock. But this is this role right here is like the pretty much like to me. Her this, this in Lady Snowblood, like her iconic role she's been in. Fantastic movie. She's a really really pretty woman. Nice, you know, piercing eyes and there's something about her like that kind of mystery to her, which is amazing for this uh, movie for the role she played in this. Fantastic. Uh, pretty much like a. Pretty much these movies in general, uh, but let's talk about the first movie. It takes place as uh, her character, called her Scorpion. Um, she, she goes out with this and falls in love with a police detective, but then is ultimately betrayed by him and sent to a prison, which is all like, totally messed up. She's like, in the movie, and all this crazy crap happens in the prison. And she gets like raped and violated, and the female prisoners attack her too, and the warden is on attack of her, and she wants to just, you know, get revenge on her ex-boyfriend that put her in there that's her she was hell-bent on getting out of prison escaping prison and getting revenge on him pretty much a, you know like a female prisoner these movies are pretty much like a it's like a, like a variety of content here and shot beautifully well uh, great cinematography in these movies like there's a lot of stuff that Quentin Tarantino borrowed from these movies and Kill Bill his other movies they borrowed from these other movies in general borrowed from this series right here you can tell when you watch this but beautifully shot looks amazing on Blu-ray, it sets the tone for the other sequels of these, like women's sort of like a second cross between a woman's revenge movie, a woman's prison movie, exploitation movie, and also a surreal element too of these, and you know, like a, in a traditional Japanese theatrical uh, sense, like the movie House and stuff like that, like uh, with the, with the theatrics, the kind of supernatural element, the lighting, very very cool, very different, very unique in these series of movies. I, I love this set right here. This is a fantastic set. It feasts for the eyes, as I, I, I would say when you watch this. It's really, really well done. And I'll show you what it looks like inside the contents. I'll explain more of the other movies as I show you the contents of it inside. All right, so here's a closer look at the box set itself. Check that out. Fantastic looking. There's a the spine. It looks amazing. In the back, right over there. And I'm sure the movies itself right now. Starting off with the very first one, Female Prisoner 701. That's the very first one I've seen right here out of the series. I've never seen the other ones before. And it's cool too. You also, again, you get the reversible cover art also. Right there, you get the Japanese poster art for the thing. Check that out. Really good movie. I mean, fantastic uh, revenge movie. Really, really well done. Great role she played right here. Here's the second one uh, Female Prisoner Scorpion Jailhouse 41. And this movie takes place right after the first one. And where you get like a you know, scorpion back to prison and therefore she's in this in prison again and she gets daily tortured this crazy crap the warden really just wants to like really break her down and all this kind of thing and she kind of befriends this leader of this gang in prison and then one day they get this opportunity to uh, escape and they do and so the, the police officers and the warden are on the, on the hunt for them for these six women and, uh, and you know scorpion and whatnot and it's, it's kind of a cat and mouse game of that with some twists and turns and stuff throughout just really 
really well done. Amazing uh, visuals in this movie. I mean, it's fantastic the way it's shot. I like this one a lot. Um, the, my, my favorite ones out of the collection are the first one and this one right here. Really haunting. This one especially has like kind of a supernatural vibe to it at times with the narrative of it and everything like that. And then the shots and the visual aspect. A lot of cool, you know, like like Japanese style storytelling this with this with the with the uh, supernatural element and the lighting like they would do for like a, a play and a theatrical production and early Japanese movies. And each one of these movies has some nice extra features in this thing. We have someone talk about the movie itself, how it was made, and they go into detail about it. Really, really cool, really well done, good stuff. And the part three of the series is this one called Be Stable, which is neat because you have Scorpion on the run, she's out in the world. It's different than the other ones. These other, other first two are pretty much in prison movies. This one, she's out in the world, you know, looking for revenge and stuff like that. She befriends a prostitute, and this prostitute gets uh, raped by her deformed brother every night to kind of subdue him. It's really some like fucked up stuff in this one, but really well made. A lot of green, beautifully shot this whole series is actually, it's fantastic. Here's the inside of it again, the cover art, check that out. Fantastic cover art and her iconic hat and black trench coat with a knife right there and scorpion. Really well, well made. And here's the last one in the collection itself. Is this one called Grudge Song. Pretty much, uh, this one's like um, my, my least favorite of the, of the four, but it was still good. It's more of a, almost like a love story, this one, where Scorpion goes out and she falls in love with some guy again and uh, learns to trust again and stuff like that. But then some stuff happens with the Yakuza and all this crap goes on with it right over here in this. Things fall apart suddenly with her. But really, well, well made movie though. All the whole collection as a whole is amazing. Fantastic, beautifully shot, like I said. Is this cover of that? Really cool looking cover art with her, the gun, and the panther. Check that out. Love the way that looks. Really, really great. Um, I said, this is the way these are shot. Fantastic. And you get this great booklet right here that comes with it. Hardbound booklet. Check that out. Like, hardbound booklet. Really great uh, pictures in this thing. Really go into detail of the series itself. Great pictures interviews, go into detail about each one of the series and the culture itself and a great interview with her in 97, check that out. This is a great, great stuff right here. Like if you want to be like a, like a film director or a cameraman or like an art director, man, watch these. These are just amazing. If you're just a fan of movies in general, you will love these. You also get this really cool killer poster in this thing. Check this out. Look at that. Get a great poster. Check it out. How cool is that? And you get images on both sides right over there. Look at that thing. This box set, they went all out in this right here, Arrow did. I mean, another home run for Arrow when they put this out. This is just, wow. I mean, so, so good this is. I mean, I can't highly recommend this enough. If you're a film lover, this thing right here is just, wow, one to have in the collection. It's so, so good. It looks amazing on Blu-ray. I mean, I love it. It's so, so good. Right there, the female prisoner scorpion collection right there by Arrow Video USA. Great stuff. This is limited, too. I, guess, I think this is a limited set right here, too. So if you want to get it, get it while you can. Fantastic. All right, last but not least is this right over here. Night Owls. This is the short films on Buddy Web Movie 1 Brennan Mitchell made years ago. I think the first one was made before he even did YouTube back in 05. So that was really cool to see my buddy some older video stuff that was pretty cool with the haircut and the clothes he was wearing it was kind of neat to check it out i was like well it's pretty funny right here but yeah good good stuff fun five short films he made along with uh, sean c phillips is in a couple of these episodes loey kaufman gabriel mercado ron jeremy is one of the ones it's hilarious fun skits fun stuff i really enjoyed it a lot as a whole and as my buddy andrew leslie helped make this too and uh some extras in this thing got some commentary tracks on this reach one of the shorts some bl blooper reel some other stuff footage they have they put in this thing right here all kinds of stuff so you know support my man with movie one midnightmoviewatchers.com that's where you get this at right here fun stuff fun watch it's definitely a fun watch to check out with a couple of brewskis too is this right here i enjoyed it a lot i only seen a couple of them before so it's cool to watch them all it was just, it was fun really really fun definitely enjoyed it Oh, yeah. Alright, that's gonna do it right there. Hope you guys enjoyed this video of me talking about these new releases that just came out by Arrow Video USA 
And also my buddy Wet Movie One's flick, Night Owls, Wolves Anthology series, that is. But if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Oh, put me put this down. Give it a thumbs up. If you guys enjoyed it, leave a comment below. If you're getting any of these titles I talk about, let me know if you are. And whatever else stuff you might pick up this week in the new releases, let me know what you might get. I'm curious. And yeah, fun stuff right there. Hope you guys enjoy it. And oh man, got some weight to this bad boy. Oh yeah, with this box set it has some weight to it. I like that. As my buddy LeVar Burton from Reading Rainbow would say, I'll see you next time. And that I will. I'll see ya. Catch you later. Bye-bye.